So here we are at the end of day one of this Berlin E-Prix double header and the results are in, not just in the race, but with our predictions. As you will probably know by now, at every event, the pundits, the so-called experts of Formula E's paddock, make our predictions ahead of the event, the various outcomes for things like the fastest lap, the pole position, the podium finishes, and our driver of the day. And this week we did it, Nicky Shields, myself, and Jack Nichols isn't here, so Nick Heidfeld stepped in as a guest pundit and we all made our predictions, I have got the results. Now we have a brand new winner in Formula E this week in Felix Rosenquist, who won the race this afternoon, a fantastic drive. Absolutely none of us predicted that. Uh, that shows you how unpredictable Formula E can be and that we have been, we've been very low scoring over the course of this season. So here's the results. None of us got the win, of course, as I said. None of us got the uh, fastest lap. I scored one point for getting Nick Heidfeld on the podium, as did Nicky Shields. Nick Heidfeld himself scored a big fat zero uh, on behalf of Jack Nichols this week. He got nothing right. Um, there were, as ever, some fans who completely outperformed the experts and made us all look silly. So well done to Andy Smith, who scored two points, and Whirlwind270, also two points. And loads of you scored a point, the same as Nicky and I. So absolutely well done. You're making us look like fools over the course of this season, but we shall continue. Um, as I said, this is a double header, so we have the, exactly the same event tomorrow. Practice sessions, qualifying, and another race, and we need your predictions again. We have made ours. I've caught up with Nicky and with Nick Heidfeld, and I've made my own predictions. Those will be flashing up on the screen about now, so you can see all those. And we want you to get involved again. I love reading your predictions. They all make me laugh, some of them. They're, uh, they're very, very good, as we can see from the results. So we want to know who you think is going to get the Julius Baer pole position in race two here in Berlin. So we want to know that, you get a point for that. We want to know who the podium finishers are going to be, the top three. You'll get a point for each one you get right. And if you get all three in the correct order, you'll get a bonus two points. So there's a potential few, few points to score there. Uh, on top of that, we want to know who is going to get the Visa fastest lap. And just like the drivers out on track, you'll get a point if you get that right. And finally, we want to know the driver of the day. It's voted for by a panel of independent journalists. At the end of each event, we ask them for their opinion and they tell us who they think uh, got the driver of the day. Today, I can tell you it was Felix Rosenquist. Not really any surprise because it was a fantastic effort from him. So please get involved. Please tell us what you think is going to happen. As I say, we've done ours and I'll be back to bring you more results at the next round in New York. Thank you very much and enjoy the race tomorrow.